What's up my mobile detailing people? It's Hunter back again with another detailing video. In this detailing video, you guys, we're gonna be going over everything that you need to start your detailing business. We're gonna go over all the details of where I got it from. All right, I got a lot of people asking me, hey, can you make a more detailed one? Hey, here it is. Let's get it, y'all. Let me show you how we living. Shout out to Hector at H2O Supply. This guy right here equipped your boy with the dopest setup out there. If you guys are looking for a mobile detailing setup, man, you guys make sure you guys tap in with that man, Hector Jr. H2O in uh, Covina, California. Go to the shop, get some supplies. And matter of fact, in the description down below, he gonna have some links down there for the supplies and uh, his number, his YouTube channel. Tap into his YouTube channel, you guys. He has a lot of dope content. Hey, show him some love. Let him know I sent you over, guys. Let's get it. All right, so what we got right here, as soon as we open up the doors, we got the Max Shine, hold on. They shining, man. We got Max Shine right here. We got a little, uh, got a deal going on with Max Shine, you guys, to show my uh, my subscribers some love. 15% off. Check it down in the description down below, 115. And uh, make sure you click, click the link so you can get your discount, man. 15% off. They got the Max Shine holders. We got the brush holders right here. Check it out, y'all. And then on this side, we doubled up. Bam, bam. All right, so you got to have your bottle holder so you can be time effective, so you can grab and go versus having your stuff like set up and you got to grab it out and you know what I mean? It really helps with the time. And then on top of that, man, what we got equipped up in there in the bottle holders, man, we got carpet bomber. This is your carpet cleaner right here. This is what I use. Everybody's asking, Wayne, what do you use for your carpet cleaning? Because y'all see your boy get down, man. All right, carpet bomber. Following up with the Terminator, the enzyme spot and stain. So this is what you want to pre-spray. Bam, so you hit it up, you hit the interior up with this first. And you come through with the carpet bomber, bam. So these two go hand in hand, PNS products. All right, that's PNS products. If you guys want to check that out, in the description down below. Everything that I'm talking about in the description down below, man. So I use my spray wax. This is a local finish line product. Right here, we got the PNS interior detailer. This is for your uh, basic, you know, interior wipe downs. And then right here, we got the bug remover, PNS once again. Bam. Then we got the bead maker. Right here, this is your sealant, your two to three month protection, man. You can apply this while the car is wet, dry, however you like, man. All right. Then we got the show shine. This is for my rims. And then we got the body gloss. This is what I use for my lubrication for my clay bars. Next up, next up, man, we going down the line, man, we going down the line. Right here, I thought this was pretty dope. I had to cop this for your gloves. You gotta wear your gloves when you're out there working. I didn't wear gloves at first. I was tearing my hands up, y'all. Waking up in the morning and I was like, man, why are my hands swollen? What's going on? Why are my hands burning? Put your gloves on. Don't be playing with them chemicals, you guys. All right, so this holder, for your um for your gloves cost me about 15 to 20 dollars tap in description down below ah and it's a magnet bam dope and all my brushes right up on amazon you guys just type in brushes description down below next up we got the bottle holder holder this is dope about um how um the guys uh at h2o hooked me up check this out custom they made this can't get this at anywhere. So, and then I got this uh, foam cannon right here. I checked out a different different um, foam cannons, right? And I'm noticing that if you go with the cheap $15, $20, it didn't foam up as good for me. This one right here, it costs $80 to $90. And they put some type of uh, piece inside of here to make the foam more fine. So it already comes with that custom inside of it so it foams up a lot better ah, might as well knock this out next we got the max shine bag and what this is good for is when you're wanting to have everything ready so for instance I got my brushes in here bam bam I got my leather brush bam this is my my dressing for my tires the interior I got bead maker in here when I'm doing interiors, I need to get in tight spots that I can't reach. Bam, that's in there. I got my all-purpose cleaner. Bam, man, whatever else I want to grab, whoa, 
Whoa, bam, bam. So as soon as I open up, bop. Oh, let's go. Ah, it's ready for the interior. Shout out to Max Shine, man. All right, all right, run it back. All right, so when I get started with my detail, this pulls out. Right here, we got the Predator generator. It's cost, I believe, $900 to $1,000. Got this at Harbor Freight. And uh, what I like about this is it's electric. You can just press a button back here. Bam, you can start it. You don't have to pull, but it does have the pull option right here also. All right, so that's 1100 Harbor Freight. Then next up, we got the hose reel, the uh, pressure washer reel. And um, check it out, pull it out just like that. You know what I mean? I used to wrap my hose up <clears throat> and I would have to do all this and wrap it up, but now <clears throat> I'm hooked up. And this is about, I believe, uh, dang, is it 100 feet? I believe it's 100 feet. And then next up, we got the electrical, 50 feet. Gotta have this, it's a must. Bam, then back here, you see hidden, we got an extra foam cannon just in case, you know, this one goes out. <clears throat> The next up, they hooked me up with the uh, the hose reel. No, no, no more pulling the vacuum out, man. Everything's right here. Plug it in and go. All right. So next up, we got the air compressor. This right here extends also. All right. So what this is used for is to blow out all the um, stuff in the car you can't reach, you wanna blow it out, you brush a spot and you left some um, wet spots, you can blow that out, you know what I mean? Whatever is good of you, whatever whatever you wanna use it for that'll help you with your detail. This is also a must, you gotta have this too. You can blow out the rims, you can blow out stuff like in the grill. Um, and uh, check this out, y'all. Uh, come around to the side. Y'all can see right there, that's what's powering the air compressor. It's called the Fortress Ultra Quiet. Got that from Harbor Freight. That ran a couple hundred dollars. All right, next up, next up, what we got on the list? We got the pressure washer. Right here, right here, this is the Ryobi. We got this from Harbor Freight. This ran me about $350 and it's 2300 PSI. I didn't go with uh, anything like extremely expensive. That works perfectly fine for me. 2300 is, you know what I mean? I'm not taking no paint off. It's smooth. And uh, hey, it works for me. And it's, oh, and it's electric, it's quiet. You know what I mean? I take in consideration of people, uh, they stay out there sleeping early in the morning. So coming quiet with it. All right, so next up, this was dope. You need to fill up buckets? Bam, quick. Fill up the buckets. And uh, what I really like about this setup, man, it's sturdy. Like, check out. It's like high grade, commercial, tough. Then we got the diamond plate. All right, next up we got the towels up here. So I keep all my towels. I got my polishing towels. I got my waxing towels. I got my interior towels. I got the exterior towels right here, look. Shout out to the Rad Company. Coating, sealants, and interior microfiber towels right here. So I got all my different kind of towels up there. Hey guys, if I miss something, make sure you guys comment down below and I'll get back to you. All right, next up, we got the EnviroClean PNS products. This is my degreaser. That's what I use. And then we got the paint gloss showroom and shine. This is for, you, you can use it for the rims, the exterior. I use it for the outer door seals when you open up the doors to make that shine. And then that's PNS. Next up, we got PNS once again, interior shine. You can use this for the interior, of course, your tires, uh, tram. Uh, then next up, we got PNS right here also. This is the adhesive remover for stickers, tape, um, whatever, you know, things that are really hard to get off. Next up, we got the rim acid. I love using the, using the rim acid for rusted rims. You know what I mean? You don't. You want to make sure you know what kind of rims you're dealing with. You don't want to tear up anybody's rims. So this is acid. Then you got non-acid cleaner. So this is acid for heavy duty stuff right here. All right? 
and that's finish line products. All right, hey, let's get it. Let's go around to the back, y'all. All right, all right. So next up, we got the Minty Extractor. This is my baby right here. This one ran me about $1,300. It runs anywhere from $1,300 to $1,600. So right here is the specs on the brand. Check that out. <clears throat> this right here is called your extractor. Probably still got some gunk still left in it. Let's see. Look at that. Some leftovers from that work work. All right. So let's pull this out. What's dope about this is uh, the guys at uh, H2O Supply, they hooked me up with a custom uh, guard. Because sometimes if you, you know, it could be moving left and right and falling all over. I remember one time, guys, quick story. I was driving to a job to do a shampoo. It was filled up with water. I stopped. The whole extractor came forward, right? All the water gushed all to the front of my vehicle. And guess how, guess how I reacted? It hit me. I said, I just sat there. I was just done. It was early morning. I just, I didn't even wipe myself. I just got to the job, hopped out, and was just like, well, I had it. I was ready to go back home. But yeah, so that guard is good to, you know, keep you safe, man. All right. So next up, this right here is the pump sprayer. This is what I use to put my shampoo uh, carpet bomber to uh, get ready for my extraction, drill it. Damn, that helps versus coming and pumping, you know, them hands get to getting sore. All right, so next up, the rag company right here. I ain't even used these yet. Just freshly purchased these right here. Good for the exterior. This is my buckets. Ugh. Always separate all your buckets. You got your wash buckets, you got your buckets for your rims and tires, and then you got your bucket for your, your three bucket method right here. Gosh. Well, this is my second, but my third bucket right there for the, for the uh, two bucket method. All right, next up. You got to show up and show out. Right here, you got your sign right here. This whole setup right here ran me about $250, all depending on, you know, the company and who you're dealing with right here. This right here gets you a lot of business. If you don't want to stop working, people are always coming up asking for cards. This helps, you know, people come up, take a picture, go on about their business. All right. Next up. Check this out, y'all. We got a little bit more advertising right here. If you wanna take it to the next level. This right here is my flags. I ain't even put this up yet, y'all. But y'all seen it first. This right here, sheesh, if I can get it out. That says clay bar and hand wax right there. Clay bar and hand wax. And then we got another flag right here. I think I got like five flags. The other one says interior. This says interior detail right here. And then I have another one that says polish. Another one that says car wash. So one of the days when I get out to advertise, I'm gonna just set up my, uh, my tent, my sign, set up some flags, put a table out, put some chairs out. Hey, people nosy, man. What, what, what this man got going on over here? Looking all professional. Uh, 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 where you going? Hey, what that let you know, y'all? Lock your wheels. <laughs> Bam, wheels locked, let's get it. All right, next up, from what we can see, we got the diamond plate once again. Bam, the next up we got the Max Shine um, polish, polish pad holder right here. Shout out to Max Shine. And we got Max Shine again right here. The polisher holders right here. Bam. All right, so we got the polisher. This is Bigfoot right here. Rupes. This is the best polisher I've ever had. I upgraded to this. It just way more smooth. And um, it, to me, it feels like it get the scratches out way better with this top of the line machine right here, man. Check it out in the description down below. Next up, we got my wax machine. Everybody is asking what brand this is. This is Astro right here. 
it's it's effective the fact that I don't have to plug up. You know what I mean? I ain't gotta plug my polisher up and do all that. This is a it's hands-free, man. Look, cordless. Come on. Alright, as y'all can see, we got the racks. I keep all my all my chemicals, pretty much all the chemicals I got here is what I talked about up front. Got my wax, extreme shine, clear coat polymer and wax, finish line. Let me show you guys a couple. Got my degreaser. This is my non-acid tire and wheel cleaner right here. You got acid and non-acid, that's acid. This is my spray wax right here, finish line. Detail spray. And then, I got right here what most people don't like to see. <laughs> yeah, I use it, y'all. We got the magic sponge. You know, it makes, you know, dirt and grime disappear. It's magic. <clears throat> All right, one more. We got the paint prep. When you're about to do your ceramic coatings, when you're about to lay the wax down, the ceilings down, it's that step after, you know what I mean, polishing. To clean up your mess right here. Paint prep. Come on. All right. What we got, what we got next, man? We got extra supplies of gloves. Gotta stay with these, I stay supplied. Bam. What I got in here, what I got in here, my air fresheners, man. Got my air fresheners. Bam, I just caught this right here. Tornado. So what this is good for is pre-agitating your floors. So let's say you got a whole bunch of dirt stuck into the carpets, right? So what the tornado is gonna do, is gonna come through, it's gonna spin, and it's gonna pick up everything that you can't get off from a vacuum. Have you ever vacuumed and the dirt stayed in the seats? You wanna hit everything up, loosen all the dirt and debris, and then come through and vacuum. So that's what I got this for, and it also cleans carpets, you know what I mean? It cleans stuff. You flip the switch up right here, and it opens up so the water can come out or whatever materials you wanna put in here to clean up the floors and seats. So, I haven't really tried it yet. I haven't really, it's still new as you guys can see. But um, I've watched videos, shout out to the people that make videos. All right, next up, next up. This right here is the hose to my extractor. <clears throat> I'm gonna move this out the way. Damn. All right, next up we got the McClellan. Hey, excuse me if I pronounce anything wrong. Not perfect, man. We got the McClellan uh, steamer right here. Get this out. This steamer right here, this is a, this is a must. It's a must to have a steamer, you guys. You know what I mean? There's areas that you can't get up, like, you know, gum, um, gunk in the cup holders. Um, you wanna hit up the vents. You know what I mean? The steamer, uh, you wanna do a, a, a steam cleaning on a car for germs. This is good right here. This ran about $160, $170. Um, get yourself a steamer, man. Just uh, get it quit, get it quit. Before I put the steamer up, back here we got the 100 gallon water tank. It's back there hiding, look. That skinny body. <laughs> what I like about this tank right here is I don't need a transfer pump. You know what I mean? No need to get a transfer pump to make the pressure come out to the pressure washer. You know what I mean? This right here, it's like gravity fed. You know what I mean? It's gonna come straight down and feed the pressure washer. So look for a skinny 100 gallon tank. It helps you guys. Now to go over a couple of uh, little bit of stuff I use. This rejuvenate right here. This is for your bumpers that are faded. And you know, ceramic wax, hybrid liquid. This right here is Meguiar's. You know what I mean? I was just checking out a couple of the products, seeing how it works. And we got finish line. We got foamy carpet and carpet cleaner right here. So I use this for the jobs that I don't want to pull out my other stuff. This is just quick, man. Spray the carpets down. It foams up. It's pretty dope. And uh, for water spot remover, this is what I use. I use chemical guys. Water spot remover. This works great for me. Um, I don't know what you guys use, but this works perfectly fine for me to get water spots off. 
All right, follow me, follow me to the last side, y'all. Bam. All right, so next up, chemicals. We got PNS, Iron Buster. What this is good for taking contaminants off the vehicle, you can't get off from washing. Um, it gets off the dirt and debris. Perhaps it gets it ready for ceramic coatings, sealants, and waxes. All right, next up we got Shine Supply. We tapping into some, some new, uh, you know, detail supplies. What you guys know about Shine Supply? This right here is undercarriage spray. You know, you see the undercarriage all dry and looking dusty and crusty. Right here, shine you up. Next up, Flex Ice. This is another chemical I use to, um, you know, shampoo the floors, the carpets. And um, this is commercial grade right here. Sometimes I like to whip up my own chemicals, you know what I mean? Um, I'm mixing like three different chemicals, you know what I mean? And I make sure I do a, a test spot. I try it on my car before I just come out and try it on somebody's. So I noticed that when you mix stuff, it gets it up a lot better. And I know if you guys have mixed some stuff up yourself, drop, hey, drop, hey, drop it down below, man. Let us know. Don't be hiding it. All right, next up, we got more polishing pads right here. Can't even pull that out. So we got all different kind of polishing pads. Guires, Rupes. We got my clay, my clay bars right here, here. Let's pull this out. Bam. This is my clay bar I use right here. Yeah. This is a uh, nano skin right here. So that's the brand of clay bar I use. Well, put that on the back, put your hand in it. You ready to go. All right, we got your drill brushes, man. We got many selections here. Which one you want? Which one? You let me know. You know, we got the Ryobi. Got the Porter cable. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Then when we run out of the juice, we plug up to the, to the supply right here. This Dewalt right here. You ever heard of Dewalt? <clears throat> That's that man Dewalt right there. <laughs> All right. Make sure you get your knee pads, man. Get your knee pads. I know your back hurting. All right? I know you're tired of doing all this. Back hurting, man. Put, put the knee pads on. Stop playing, old man. <laughs> all right? We got the IK foam sprayer right here. All right? You can put on the nozzle that you want, and it'll actually foam up, just like the foam cannon works. So it's one of my favorite right here. Tap into that description down below. And we got the vacuum right here, rigid vacuum. You can get that at Harbor Freight. All right, next up, this is where I keep all my cans right here. We got Finish Line Orange Foam, all-purpose cleaner. We got Tar and Sap Remover, remo removes Tar and Sap. We got my glass cleaner, Finish Line Glass Cleaner Plus. And then right here, this is where I keep, it's hidden in the bag. This is all my selection for my, uh, to clean the carpets. These are the brushes. You know what I mean? You gotta make sure you pick the right brush size and hardness according to the carpet that you're cleaning or you could mess somebody's carpet up. All right, make sure you guys get your light when you're out there in the night. All right, where's the brand at? You guys, check it out in the back. Here's the specs. I got this at Sam's Club. All right, next up, this is the polishers, polishes I use right here. Ultra fine polish, Rupes. Then we got high performance, cut polishing compound. Next up, Uno, one step polishing sealant. And then shout out to my YouTube people, man. This is what you guys told me to get. I tried it, dope. When is it for? 3D speed. This is from uh, 3D, it's for uh, one step. It's a, um, a, a polish, it's a correction and protection, all in one. All right. Then we got my Rupes, call it Little Daddy. This Little Daddy right here. Get the get the spots you can't uh, get with the big one. All right. And then got the high performance, fine polishing compound right here. And then Max Cut Compound. This stuff right here is from PNS. So thick, man. It gets out them real heavy scratches right here. So thick. All right. And then I got my light. This is to check out the, oh my bad Ray's, I ain't trying to blind you now. 
check out the imperfections on the vehicle. You know what I mean? You're gonna check for scratches and stuff like that. The sun is beaming, so y'all can't really see it, man. But this is really good for paint correction right here. All right, that pretty much sums it up for my polishes, my, um, my compounds and all that. If you guys have any other you know, suggestions that I should try out, you guys told me 3D speed. Hey, I'm listening to y'all. You know what I mean? We learning and growing together. Comments I'm reading even though I don't reply to them all. Hey, I'm paying attention, y'all. All right, next up, we got the Ford Transit 2016 van. I've had no complications, no issues. I'm going on about my second year with it. And um, it cost me 12K. It only had 70K uh, miles on it. And I can't, hey, I can't complain about it. Hey, that pretty much sums it up for the van, you guys. And other than that, if I missed anything, comment down below. I hope I got everything. Oh, as I'm going, I'm catching stuff. This right here is another air blower right here. This is Blaster Sidekick. It's used for the rims, for anything you want to blow um, off, you know, water, debris, it's up to you. But as I'm going around, you guys, I think I pretty much covered it all. Advertisement right here, you know what I mean? Always promote everywhere you go, any way that you could promote. Facebook, um, uh, uh, Instagram, uh, signs, flags, Business cards, cards you know? all that, you guys. Promote, 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 you know what I mean? And when you promote and people call you, ask them how you grab their attention. Mark it down, keep track of it. These signs is working, cars is working. I always ask. But other than that, hey, all glory to God. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, everything that I showed you is gonna be in the description down below. Shout out to Hector Jr. at H2O. Um, tap into the shop, you guys, if you guys wanna set up, if you guys need supplies, they'll supply everything you need. And um, if you guys like this content, like, share, subscribe, get up, you live one life and make sure you live it to serve Christ and everything else falls into place. And uh, hey, let's live, learn, grow. Let's get it all glory to God. Ah.